Hello and welcome to another video review, this time about the new thermal monoculars from Hik Micro, the Lynx 2.0 LH19. Hik Micro is a Chinese company which has caused a lot of excitement in the recent years. They introduced a lot of new products to the market from very affordable entry level to professional grade optics designed for many different applications. At the end of January 2024, they introduced the Lynx 2.0 uh, series of monoculars, uh, which are entry level thermal monoculars. And as the name suggests, this is the second generation of the very popular uh, Lynx series, which now feature a better sensor and also replaceable batteries. In the Lynx 2.0 series, three devices are available. All of them feature the same sensor with a resolution of 384 by 288 pixels and an NETD of less than 20 millikelvins. They also have the same display, housing and also other features. The only difference is in the objective lens diameter. Uh, and because of that also the starting magnification or the minimal magnification is different uh, and the smallest lens device or most affordable device uh, in the Lynx 2.0 series also does not feature the focusing ring on the front. The LH19 2.0 which is this model here is right in the middle so the LH15 is the smaller uh, version uh, and the LH25 is the bigger model in the C series. Due to the 1.8 times starting magnification of this model, it features a very wide field of view, uh, because of which it is perfect uh, for close range observation, but also for searching of warm objects or animals on open terrain. The housing uh, is still very small and ergonomically designed, so you can very easily hold it in your hand. And I think it is made from aluminum because there are many aluminum parts which stand out of the uh, rubber. Uh, and the entire housing itself is completely rubberized for more protection and also, of course, better grip. It is completely dust and waterproof. It has a protection rating of IP67, which means uh, it can withstand uh, water uh, or it is waterproof up to one meter of depth for at least 30 minutes. The ocular is made out of rubber, which is quite soft and very easy uh, or very comfortable to use. Uh, the diopter is here on the side, which can be adjusted by rotating. Uh, it is very easy to adjust, in my opinion even a little bit too easy. Uh, so when you put it in the bag, which is of course included, or when you carry it around in your pocket, I think it can happen that you easily change your diopter setting. But because it's very easy to adjust, it's not a problem when you use the device and make your small adjustment back. Now, at the bottom, we have here the attachment for this uh, carrying uh, cord. Then here we have the tripod uh, attachment or thread. Uh, then here we have the uh, USB type C port. And here right uh, near, the USB-C port is also the LED. It's red when you are charging and green when it is fully charged. And here on the front, uh, we have uh, the attachment point for the objective cover. On the left side of the device, we have now this new uh, battery compartment for one uh, 18650 type battery. Here on the right side we have just the Hik Micro logo and on the front we have the focusing 
uh, ring and also the in this case 90 mm subjective lens and of course objective cover which is made from rubber and hard plastic and this cover really seals the objective tightly uh, away so no dust or also water can enter to the lens which is very nice you don't need to clean it often when you carry the device around um, the device can operate uh, between minus 30 degrees celsius up to 55 degrees celsius and the size of it is 172 millimeters long it is uh, 56 millimeters wide and 61 millimeters high so it is a very compact device and because of that easy to carry around in some pocket or also or also in a backpack the weight is also very interesting without the battery it's 280 grams and with the battery 330 grams so it is also extremely lightweight the msrp is 1220 euros and it is made in china in their own facility uh, and it comes with a three years warranty and the nice part of it is that the service department is in the european union battery like i said is a standard 18650 lithium ion battery it comes with a capacity of 3200 milliamp hours uh, and i really like this type of uh, batteries because they are widely available and very inexpensive one uh, additional battery costs approximately 10 euros with this, which is very nice very good part of it is also that many hic micro devices or other hic micro devices feature uh, the same battery so you can swap them easily between different uh, devices with the type c uh, port on the bottom the battery can be charged directly through the device and with the device comes also a battery uh, charging station which can charge two batteries at once with the device you get of course two batteries and with one battery the device should operate for approximately six and a half hours of course in uh, best conditions now the battery compartment is on this side here to open you just have to push this latch down and like this you can already open the uh, battery compartment and the battery can very easily be uh, attached inside like this and to close it you just have to uh, push the compartment uh, inside and the latch back on and like this it's already uh, secured so very easy and fast uh, to change battery and also when you take it out you see the battery comes out with this drink which is attached so it is a uh, very well designed in my opinion the power indicator for the battery is of course in um, the display you see some uh, lines how much battery is still left uh, and <clears throat> you have also a indicator which is here a small led when the device is on so when the device is on you see here a led uh, red LED uh, so you know it uh, if you have it uh, somewhere in your back or uh, in your pocket um, now for the sensor it inside is a Vox uh, uncooled sensor with a resolution of uh, 384 by 288 pixels pixel size is 12 microns and the refresh rate is 50 Hertz the NETD which is the good part of this sensor is less than 20 millikelvins and with such a good uh, NETD it is really possible to see a lot of details of course not on very long distances because of the small lens and small magnification but at closer range you really see a lot of details uh, the calibration modes are three in this device uh, you have automatic um, semi-automatic or manual the display inside of the device is a OLED type with a resolution of 
1024 by 768 pixels and of course you can make also videos and photos with the device and you have also an internal storage of 16 gigabytes so you can save a lot of videos and photos on the device. Uh, what is also really nice is that uh, it features an integrated uh, sensor which automatically detects uh, in which position the device is in. So if it's, uh, it detects that the device is uh, more than 75 degrees in forward or backward position or more than 70 degrees left or right, the device turns the display automatically off to save the battery because uh, it thinks that you are not looking through the device. Uh, this feature can of course be also turned off in the settings if you don't like it. Now the display itself is uh, very nice, quite big, uh, so it is really comfortable to look at. The image is very clear and as I previously said, because of the low NETD, you really uh, get a lot of uh, details, which is of course very nice for such a affordable price. Now optically, the device comes with a 19 millimeters lens uh, diameter and the aperture is 1.0. The field of view is at 100 meters, it's uh, 24 meters wide and 18 meters high. And the range of detection with this uh, sensor or with these specifications is up to 900 meters, which is also quite a lot. It features four different color modes, which is black hot, white hot, red hot and fusion. The close focus works from what I tried with this device was approximately 30 centimeters so you can really focus and very on very near objects the minimal mag magnification is 1.8 which is the analog magnification from the lens uh, and it features a eight times digital uh, zoom so the magnification goes from 1.8 to 14.4 times on top we have buttons and I have to say the button placement is great. Uh, you can easily have uh, your fingers and operate the device uh, when you carry it around. Uh, it is also very comfortable to use and designed for left and also right handed users. Buttons, if I go quickly through, the front button is the power button with holding you turn the device on and off and when you press you go to the standby mode or to wake up the device. Then the second button is the capture button, uh, which with a short press you capture the photos and when you hold the button you start to record the video. In the menu this button acts also to move up in the menu. Then we have the menu button or the mode button. With a short press you switch the palettes and by holding you enter the menu mode. In the menu this button acts like a confirm button uh, and if you hold the button in the menu you exit uh, the menu and you save the parameters. And lastly this button here is the zoom button with pressing with a short press you switch the digital zoom and by holding it uh, you calibrate the sensor. In the menu mode this uh, button acts also to move in the menu. By pressing in the menu you move down. So as you can see it is very easy to operate and if you are in the menu uh, it, uh, the parameter, parameters you, are, you need the most are very quickly accessible uh, by just uh, going in the menu. Uh, and if you want more parameters, uh, they are also available uh, to change. Device has also connecting capabilities, of course. With the USB-C port here on the bottom, you can connect the device with a cable to other devices. And it features also Wi-Fi. Uh, and with 
Wi-Fi you can also connect to external devices. If you connect it, let's say, to a tablet or a smartphone, uh, you can have also an external display and look on your phone everything you look through the device itself. Menu itself is the same like we know it from other uh, HIC micro devices, so it is very uh, user friendly and very easy to operate. Okay, now what do you get in the box? First of all, a neoprene uh, carrying bag, then we get the USB to USB C uh, cable, uh, then a charger for two batteries at once which has which is of a high quality and it works for many different types of batteries as well of course lithium ion batteries then we get two of the batteries a cleaning cloth and also a, a user's manual for the battery charger a quick start guide for the device itself and if you want to have more information uh, about the device there is also a QR code here uh, in of course they, the it is in, in all in many different languages but when you scan the QR code uh, you enter also the manual or the very detailed manual of the whole device itself and lastly we have also here the HIC Micro uh, site app uh, QR codes so you can very easily uh, download uh, to your smartphone or tablet. Okay now for a short summary. Uh, first of all the positives. Uh, I really like the device is very small uh, and compact so it fits easily in a, a pocket. I really like the new feature with the interchangeable batteries and using the 18650 batteries is very cheap uh, and you can very easily uh, get uh, them in many different stores. I like also the high quality battery charger and that they include also two of them, two of the batteries at once. But what I don't like is that they not include a charger for the adapter. So you have to use the charger which you use normally for your smartphone or other uh, devices. Now back to the positives. Um, the next thing is the sensor itself. It is a very good quality sensor with a NETD of less than 20 millikelvins and because of that the images are very detail rich in my opinion. Lastly is the price uh, with the MSRP with, of 1200 uh, euros approximately it is a quite affordable device and in my opinion perfect for scanning around and searching uh, for uh, animals where do i see room for improvements first of all as i said because there is no battery charger included uh, which i really don't like that they go the same path like the smartphone producers the second thing is uh, this uh, diopter adjustment that it is very easy to adjust. I mean, it is too easy and as you can see, you almost certainly will make some change to your diopter setting when you put it in the carrying bag. Okay, that's it uh, for now. I hope you found this video review useful. If you have any additional questions, uh, click the link below and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.